Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I know I haven't been uploading anything for one, two, three, four, four months now. Well, I've been very busy with my full-time job. I've also been working on my other channel that is dedicated to more of a science content. And that is all the reasons that I haven't been working on this channel in particular. So I'm still figuring what to do with this channel essentially, but it will still be about tutorial and review of gadgets. Now recently, a number of you have left a comment asking me how to set up uh, a zoom using my NX30 camera. Now, this NX30 is by Samsung and has long been discontinued, but in this video, I'm going to do a very quick tutorial to show you exactly how I use my NX30 to do zoom. Now, first of all, let's look at some of the basic gadget you would need for this setup. Now, I have here a generic capture card which costs about $30 to $40, depending on where you bought it. I also have a more uh, high-tech one or more classy one is a uh, for a uh, Camlink 4K. And okay, this one does do a little bit better job in terms of video resolutions. Now, in, other than the video capture card, you would also need a HDMI cable, one head with a micro connections that can plug into your camera and another head that can plug into your cap, uh, basically plug into your capture card. Now, without further ado, let's go to the B-roll uh, and look at how I set up that camera for Zoom. So essentially, this setup is pretty straightforward where I have already plugged in my HDMI to my camera and I plug in the other end of the HDMI to the cam link. And all you need is to plug your cam link into your USB hub and I turn it on. Now your cam link should have a light link, uh, basically light up indicating it is on. Okay, so I have a little bit uh, hiccup in the connection. Let me mingle it. And after that, you turn on your camera. All right, so I'm here now shooting handheld with my other camera showing you how my connection goes. Here is the HDMI connections to my NX30. Now I do have a, a little bit more classy lens here, which is the S lens uh, with aperture uh, 2.8, I believe. And I have a flip screen out. Um, now occasionally it will turn off depending on if you are on a live view or you are in a recording mode. And here is the my connections on the cam link and it links to my USB hub. Now I've already activated or opened up my Zoom program here. Let me show you, okay, Zoom meeting. Now it's only me here meeting and uh, you can see here, uh, it's already already taking feedback from my cam link, okay? All you need to do here is our choices. You can choose between different options. Now, if you go through OBS, that would also work. Now, front camera that is here, basically my laptop from camera, which is terrible. And here, USB video device, which is my um, camera. Okay, now the next step here is to have a clean output. Now let's look at it, how I do it. Basically, you just keep pressing the display sign and it will show up different figures and you keep press, press, press. You get a clean output here. As you can see from my angle here, this is all clean. But when you look at my uh, camera flip screen here, it still shows some bracket, basically telling you, hey, where are you focusing? What is your ISO and aperture and frame rate, all these, okay? Now, so you just need to keep pressing the display button to basically get rid of all the display logo on the screen. Now at this point, you are already doing your zoom call, which I'm looking at my camera now, which is kind of weird. Now you can also stream while your uh, display is off on your camera. Your The feed still goes into the cam link and you can um, stream that way. Now in this live view mode, there is no time limit. 
in terms of trying to uh, continuously stream. Now, if you press the record button, in that case, you will have the 30 minute uh, time limit. Now, keep in mind, the longer you do this live feed into the uh, cam Camlink or other video capture card, the warmer your camera will get, okay? Now, this camera is old. I usually don't use it for Zoom for longer than 30 minutes. Otherwise, I will risk damaging the internal component. And if it's die, it dies. There's no warranty with it. So keep that in mind.